Today, a first look at a new smart trainer that has popped up over on Instagram and also over on Giant Japan's website. What they've released, or the information we have so far, is the new smart trainer from Giant, a direct drive smart trainer called the CycloSmart. Not a very innovative name there, but the CycloSmart Direct Drive Smart Trainer from Giant is what we're looking into today and what has popped up. So I thought we'd have a quick scan of the website itself. It is translated with Google Chrome, so give or take the accuracy of the translations here. Let's have a quick look at the unit, soon to be available, I guess, from Giant. Jumping over here to the gallery of the Direct Drive Smart Trainer here, looking at the first image, it's a very interesting design. I wouldn't call it revolutionary. A very standard or very stock standard for that of a direct drive smart train. It looks to be adjustable in height and you can see the rear of the unit is curved. So I guess as you pull the unit up and down, the rear will just pivot a little bit and also some leveling feet on each side of that. We can also see the unit has direct or native through axle support. Happy days there for giant bikes. But the most interesting picture is the internals here, which I will put the magnifying glass on just a little bit here and do a bit of a zoom. So we don't see a lot of trainer manufacturers release the inners or the internals of their systems, not this early on anyway, until usually we get our hands on them. But what we can see here though is a multi-driver, a multi-belt system inside the Cyclo Smart. That's a horrible name. Did I mention that was a terrible? Anyhow, we see a chain drive there at the top which is an interesting uh, feature, I guess. If that's a chain driver, a metal chain driver, I assume there's some kind of maintenance required on that for oiling or greasing, which then goes into a belt drive, which is more typical of what we see on trainers. But remembering with belt drives, we will possibly need a spin down calibration on this unit. So again, we'll have to wait and see if this does require a spin down for calibration and power accuracy, but interesting stuff. Another thing to look at there is the flywheel itself and the magnetic unit. It looks very similar to that. Well, not very similar. It looks almost identical to the way in which the Stack Halcyon works with the eddy currents there with a big spinning metal flywheel or metal wheel and a few electromagnets there on the outside. So you can see that here on the picture. Again, it's only early days. This is only the preview of what we've got up here on the translated website, but very interesting to see what they've got here. Jumping over to the specs of the unit itself as listed here on Giant Japan. Well, the drive system, obviously direct drive, the load device, active eddy current type brake. Okay, we tick that box there with how it works. The wireless standards, Amp Plus, Amp Plus FEC, Bluetooth and Bluetooth FTMS ticks all four boxes there. We really only need the two, but good to see they support everything. Firmware updatable, onto the other standard details of maximum 2300 watts, more than any of us can really put out indoors. Maximum gradient simulation up to 20%, power accuracy measurement plus or minus 2%. Okay, it's within the ballpark. Supported wheel size there, almost everything, so 650C up to 29er. You can see the height adjustment in the pictures before, so that's all good. Compatible hub types or the axle support, so 130 to 135 quick release up to uh, 148 by 12 boost with the through axle support. Drivetrain 9 to 11 speed support, they're obviously Shimano cassette compatible. And what's interesting about the specs they've listed here is the noise frequency at 155 watts at 269 hertz. We've got nothing to reference that to, so we really don't know what that metric actually means. Uh, vibration level at 40 kilometers per hour, um, 0.04 millimeters per second. Again, we don't know what those specifications actually are. Is it quiet? Does it vibrate? It's sort of like a yes, no kind of thing. The weight of the unit is listed at 16.5 kilos, but that really doesn't mean much. We need to know the weight of the flywheel and the gearing of the internal flywheel for that road feel and inertia internally. Um, lifetime guarantee for the frame, two year support, one year on the electrical circuit. So I guess 12 months warranty if you give this thing a hard time. The owner's manual is up here on the website, but it's in Japanese, so unfortunately I won't be able to translate that to dig into any further details. If anybody can read that in Japanese and tell me if there's details about a spin down or calibration, comment below, let us know how we go. Interesting stuff there, price-wise we're looking at a, a conversion, so plus or minus a little bit on this, of around 1100 US dollars. So that's all the details I have at the moment on the giant CycloSmart Direct Drive Interactive Smart Trainer. Whew, that's a mouthful. I wish they'd given it a better name than that. Anyhow, more details as they come to hand, and if I can get a hold of one, here in the Llama Lab for testing. Back with more soon.